Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface in first of what I hope is going to be two videos today. We'll see. Can't promise anything, but we'll see. And before I go into the subject matter, which you can, you know, see on this tweet and see in the thumbnail and the title, I just, I'm, I'm going to go ham on the comic book industry for a bit, uh, if you don't mind. Because uh, as ever, uh, the comic book industry is an industry that has gone through, in recent years, uh, a, a great sense of wokeness, uh, where it's now full of progressives. But uh, as is always the case, uh, ultimately, they're just a bunch of hypocrites. A complete and utter bunch of hypocrites. So, I, I, I don't know what year it started in. Uh, but I started collecting comics back in 1992, and I loved them. I loved me my DC comics. I was a Batman fan, started off, and you'd have some uh, amazing stories. The uh, the writers I'd have were like Chuck Dixon, Alan Grant, Doug Moach, uh, wonderful uh, writers, and I'd have the sublime art of Jim Aparo, uh, Norm Bray Fogel, R.I.P., the pair of them. Uh, as well as Graham Nolan and, and other uh, amazing artists. And, and it was a beautiful time, an absolutely amazing time in the 90s. You got some kick-ass art. You got some great Batman stories. They were grounded. Uh, you know, they felt realistic. Batman had a lot more of his Dark Knight slash detective-ness about him. Now, he's just a god because uh, Scott Schneider and... and, and Tom King have just ruined this character, absolutely ruined it uh, beyond belief. But they're, they're just heralded and they keep getting... Anyway, that's that's another thing for another time. Um, but uh, somewhere along, I don't know, 2015, I, I, and I can't be exactly sure, uh, Marvel Comics went through a massive transformation uh, because it was embarrassed uh, at the fact that all of its main heroes that everybody had loved for... 50, 60 years, uh, were straight white men. And so what they did is instead of creating, you know, being creative and creating new characters uh, that they might want to appeal to uh, a, a different demographic to go alongside here, uh, no, they just decided in their infinite wisdom to take all of these characters, kill them off, and then replace them with a diverse substitute. That's that's pretty much what they did. Uh, so we suddenly the Hulk went from uh, Bruce Banner to uh, uh, an Asian guy. Uh, Tony Stark got killed off as Iron Man. He was replaced by a 15-year-old black girl. Uh, Thor became female Thor. Uh, Hawkeye became female Hawkeye. You know, and it was just pathetic. And why it was pathetic is because this isn't progressive. This is regressive. This is uh, race baiting and this is gender baiting. And that's all it is. It's saying we don't have the skill or the ability to create new characters. We are literally going to try and take a beloved character, race change it, gender change it, sexuality change it, wh whichever fit the bill, whichever tick the box of their diversity bingo, their progressive bingo. Oh, by the way, uh, black people can only now be written by black uh, writers, uh, so we've got to get them in. Uh, female characters can only be written by female, obviously, so we've got to get them in. Uh, and it just became a, a, a progressive nonsense because uh, they thought... Just by doing those changes, people would say, well, it's still whichever one it is. The Hulk, Captain America. Oh, who became a Nazi? <laughs> Obviously, he was a member of Hydra all along. Uh, and all this kind of business. Oh, if we transplant it, we'll transplant the fan base with it. Didn't work. Didn't work. Because what they failed to realize was people actually loved the characters. Why? Because there was 50 slash 60 years of law behind them, building them up, giving them personalities, giving them trials, tribulations to overcome, all this kind of stuff. And then suddenly it's like, now it's a 15 year old black girl, you like her, or you're an Eastern Eastern. Oh my God. Fuck off. Seriously, just fuck off. 
there's nothing wrong with bringing in uh, more diversity to your portfolio. Nothing wrong at all. Make something. You want a great gay character? Make a great gay character. But if the definition of that character is the gay, it's going to fail. Because that isn't something which can carry a personality, a comic. It's about the person, ultimately. And then all the other stuff is secondary to that. But they don't understand that. That's why we have this fucking tripe like Batwoman out at the moment. Because it's been purely built on progressive, oh my god, she's gay. Uh Uh-oh! And it's been played by a gay girl. Uh Uh-oh! And there's been no thought about the characters, the storylines, the plot, the fucking special effects, anything. There's been no thought put in. And so it's a complete clusterfuck, which many of us are mocking on a weekly basis because they're giving us the ammunition to do so. It's unmitigated trash. And what's been happening to the comic book industry? It's been losing people, losing people year over year over year for quite a few years now. And sales, just in general, are seriously down from what they... (laughs) You compare sales of comics from the 90s to sales of comics of today, it's unbelievable. Like, unbelievable. And it's not, well, yeah, but now you can get comics online, you see, so people don't have to get the physical comics. First of all, uh, the uh, sales of uh, online digital comics are minimal. Minimal. People still love, I was hoping I had one to hand, they're all over there. Uh, People still love to have that tactile comic. They like to have that cover, they like to have the pages, they like to turn the pages, they like to put it in the uh, mylar coverings and, and back and board them and put them away in their collections. That's still the vast majority of the way people like to, to deal with the comic industry. And so all this progressiveness that's happened in the comic industry has just been profiling has been profiling and it's having an effect on sales and what do we get nowadays of course we get the uh, comic industry which in itself is one of the thinnest skins you could possibly imagine i've never known such a fragile ego on an industry than the comic industry you try and say anything and they will try and destroy you like they have with richard c mayers like they have with uh uh, uh, Ethan Van Skyver and other people like that. Why? Because they have a different political stance. They're on the uh, they're on the Trump area, as opposed to the uh, murdering Hillary area. You know, they're on the they're on the stupid orange man, as opposed to the murdering bitch. Rocking a hard place, if you ask me. But anyone, Chuck Dixon, anyone that was of of the uh, Republican side, out, out. The comic industry now must be one voice, and the one voice must be progressive, regressive trash. Well, we will constantly produce and cancel comics on a regular basis, and people will fail upwards, like in the case of Zoe Quinn and Mags and all this kind of stuff. Because if you don't, you're an ist, you're an ism. The comic industry is a fucking joke. In today's day and age. An absolute joke. Heroes have become villains. Mark Wade, one of the greatest uh, writers I think I've, I've ever had the privilege of reading. Or did have the privilege of reading. Kingdom Come remains my favourite miniseries of all time. Is now a fucking bitch. Using this regressive stance uh, to, to push his own agenda. And they're all out for it themselves anyway. This is the hilarity of it. They're all out for themselves. And this doesn't do anyone any good whatsoever. It doesn't do the industry any good. It doesn't do uh, women any good. It doesn't do people of colour any good. People of diverse uh, sexualities any good whatsoever. Because they're just being pushed based off ticking a box. And so talent, talent has to get pushed to one side. And talent now has to find a new way to publish their books. And they go to their Indiegogos and they go to their, uh, you know, their other crowdfunding sites in which to do so. And that's the way that you've, you try and uh, find people who just are normal 
and are not afraid just to have their own political stance or their own opinion on this or their own opinion on that. No, no. The comic industry will try and literally destroy their lives because of it. I know that was a huge rant about the comic industry, but this is quite a short story. And the comic industry is just in itself such a joke that this in itself doesn't surprise me. So progressive DC, who's not quite as bad as Marvel, but boy, are they trying hard. Boy, are they really trying hard. Put out this poster uh, on their Instagram, on their Twitter in China, promoting uh, a new uh, Frank Miller, The Dark Knight. Uh, spin-off called The Golden Child. Batman The Golden Child. And it's... Uh, what does it say here? The, the Batman's future is young. That says future is young. Uh, and and this, got, this got pulled from China. Because Chinese people thought it looked a little bit... A little bit too much like democracy to them. Looked a little bit too much like a protester. Well, the black resembles the protester and the black mask represents the, the protester. Or maybe, maybe, that just represents fucking Batman! As it has done for 80 years. But no. 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 Uh, DC has to bend the knee. Because, uh, you know, Molotov cocktails, they're synonymous with protesters. You know, it's like the AK-47. It's like the weapon of uh, it's uh, the weapon of the freedom fighter. And so, uh, what do they do when they come up with a, a little bit of resistance in China on the Chinese twit twat and other areas, the Weibo site? Um, they go and uh, they go and pull it. They go and pull it. And then what happens when they pull it? A lot of people from China go and complain that they pulled it and they bent the knee. Because, of course, ultimately, you can try and be as progressive as you want, but really, especially in a country like China with one of the worst human rights uh, <laughs> records out there, ultimately, we want their money. And money, of course, well, money doesn't need representation. That's no, 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 no. Money just needs to be made. So they can profile all they want. They can uh, be as progressive as they want. They can uh, make people fail upwards all they want. They can keep giving people mini series and having them cancelled or ongoing series and cancel them day in, day out and then reward them with another one a few months later. Because if you don't, you're an historianism. But at the end of the day... Which you could do with China's money... Is, is, it could be a lot of money. <sighs> There's nothing like uh, a, a progressive industry with no morals. <laughs> no morals whatsoever. Just money. And, and, and you know, for anyone who, who's still here, <laughs> I know this has been a hell of a run. But for all the normal people, we, we know what this is all about. Because we can see their progressive stance and we know it's just virtue signaling we we know it's just a, oh this is the way we've got to be otherwise we're uh, horrible horrible white men uh. so we've got to push this and we've got to push that and now the lunatics are running the asylum well done well done because instead of uh, hiring on meritocracy uh no you gotta you gotta hire on diversity bingo cards da 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 ba Again, I'll, res I'll, I'll stress this once more because it's a very important point, I believe. If you want additional representation in your industry and there is nothing wrong with that whatsoever, create it fresh. Make new characters. Bring them in. Get good writers to write them. Good artists to draw them. Good colorers and inkers and letterers. Or you could just keep going the way you're going. Well done with Vertigo, DC. You destroyed that very quickly with your racist shit. Uh, so there we go, folks. Uh, Batman has uh, bent the knee to China uh, because uh, of one image. Which, by the way, 
is going to be a variant cover for the actual series. So this image is actually pertinent and hasn't just been created for the uh, shock value. But they bent the knee regardless because oh, we don't want to offend when we can get some money off them, hopefully. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do get a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links are in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.